A lot of people re refer to Superior as a company town, as most mining towns. We're a mining camp town. We own our own property. And that's the way it's been since day one. Having said that, this isn't even a, a blemish on how the new operation will be run. Oak Flat is a campground that is on, on a Tonto National Forest and it's located in an area where there have been mines and continue to be mines. But the, the campground area itself doesn't have a mine on it and hasn't had a mine on it because it was protected from mining by President Eisenhower back in 1955. In the last year, Senator McCain and others in the Arizona congressional delegation got a, a rider attached to a National Defense Authorization Act bill and that allows for Oak Flat to be traded away to multinational mining giant. Rio Tinto says they've discovered an ore body that's a cubic mile in diameter, a mile underground. As you're heading from Phoenix to uh, Oak Flat, you pass Picket Post Mountain. Rio Tinto says their ore body is the size of Picket Post Mountain. The type of mining they want to use is a method called, called Black Cave, which is best understood by describing as an upside down open pit. What you do is you tunnel under the ore body and then you, the use of explosives, you allow that ore body to collapse to the bottom and, and then you take that entire ore body out of the ground. It's going to lead to large environmental disaster. It's going to leave a crater one to two miles wide and a thousand feet deep where Oak Flat is today. And it's going to lead to 1.6 billion tons of toxic mine tailings being piled on Tonto National Forest land. So for Superior, you'd see a sinkhole on one side, a mountain of toxic tailings on the other side, and this town sandwiched in the middle. The ancestry of the Apache people is right here where we sit, and it goes back to BC. When it rained, we found beads, and we keep finding more beads, so it's like the beads are surfacing because it's time for the prayers to surface. Now is the time for the restoration of the dignity, power, and pride of our people. And for me, it's kind of cool when you walk someplace where people walked thousands of years ago. <laughs> years ago, when the Forest Service was asked to find a replacement uh, campground for Oak Flat, um, they couldn't do it. It truly is irreplaceable on many levels. It's, uh, it's of historical importance to rock climbers because for 15 years running, Oak Flat was the site of the world's largest climbing competition, the PBC. Uh, people came to that not only from all of the 50 states, but from foreign countries to compete in that. Currently, the, uh, the town council of Superior is opposed to the mine, and they're primarily against it because their the questions have not been satisfactorily answered. There are these people who support it because that's the history of their town. But there are people like, uh, you know, the group, the Concerned Citizens and Retired Miners group. They're not anti-mining, but they're against this particular mining proposal because it will lead to the utter destruction of the town of Superior. We're working on something. we got a presentation that's coming together. We continue to fight it. We're not giving up. We are working on uh, a repeal measure. I'll be presenting to the United Nations General Assembly, and I'm going to ask them to help us. These fights are never easy, but, but ultimately, you know, we have to win. There is, that's, that's, there is no other choice. So we've got to stop that, and we've got to stop it here. The battle lines are drawn right here at Oakland.